Welcome back to Good Day Atlanta. She describes her new cookbook as easy breezy recipes with a southern accent. Journalist turned best selling novelist Mary Kay Andrews joins me with Easter brunch ideas, a table full of them for you today. Classics with a twist. Good morning. Good morning. Mary Kay, welcome. We're glad Thank to have you. you with us today. Okay, we got to mention this really quickly. You have lived here for a long time. Yes. A little bit about yourself. Yes. You married your high school sweetheart. I did. Tell us a little bit more. Um, you know, we have two grown children and two mm -hmm. grandkids. We love to cook together and we cook at our beach house on Tybee Island. So um, readers had been asking for a long time. I've written 25 novels, but readers have been asking for a cookbook. And so I thought, let's do the beach house cookbook. I write beach books and we cook at the beach. We so have a beach sense. house. So why not? But along easy. those lines, you yes. also say you don't have to own a beach right, house to be not. able to appreciate these no, recipes. No, we rented beach houses for a long time. And honestly, if you just want to have something that's fun in the summertime, if you want to feel like you're on mm -hmm. vacation at the beach, then these are the recipes that you need. I like that, a beach house feel. Okay, right. walk us through it. We're going to make a, some bread pudding. So what kind right. is this? This is a cinnamon roll bread pudding. And you just use um, these inexpensive cinnamon rolls that you buy at the grocery store. Don't make them your, unless you love making them themselves. Mm -hmm. This is a little gonna, easier, huh? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Time saver, for this sure. This is an uh, Easter brunch menu, so you want everything as much ahead of time as you can. But this recipe, you can put this in the oven before you go to um, church or before you go on the Easter egg hunt. Sure. You're going to cut these um, cinnamon rolls up into like one inch squares. Mm -hmm. And you're going to, um, I'm not going to crack the eggs, but you're going to use five eggs. Okay. and dump those in there, some half and half, some milk. Now, these are chopped up apples, and the idea for this bread pudding came because my husband loves cinnamon rolls and he loves apple fritters that you buy at the bakery at the grocery store, and I thought, why don't I combine them? Yep. So I've chopped up these apples, and um, you dump those in there. This is uh, chopped pecans, and the recipe is on my website and my blog. Mm -hmm. Dump that in there. This is probably one of his favorite recipes. It one is. Of his favorite things it that is. You cook. You're gonna um, beat up the eggs, the half and half, the milk. You're gonna put in some cinnamon, mm. some vanilla. This doesn't seem like it's okay. I'm not a I'm not a chef. I don't cook a whole lot. You don't have to be full disclosure. But this seems like it's not too difficult. It's not at to all. Make. It's not at all. These are um, sometimes I use raisins. Today I use craisins and I soaked them in some rum. Ooh. So we're gonna, gonna take give it a good those. Taste. Yeah. Dump some of those in there. I like you soaking <laughs> them in the rum. Yeah. <laughs> so then we're gonna stir this all around. Okay. And we've got. We would have egg and milk, and um, then I, you've got a, um, a greased casserole dish, and you're going to put it in, in your greased casserole dish. Now, here's something that a lot of people don't understand with bread pudding. You want to bake it in a water bath. So you put, uh, take a roasting pan that's larger than your casserole and put your pan with your pudding in it, and then Put what it on the for? oven rack. Does that make a You're difference? going to pour boiling water in that roasting pan. Mm -hmm. And so it keeps the pudding moist and cooks it. So, but put it on the oven rack before you pour the water in. Otherwise, you're, if you're like me, you're slopping water <laughs> all over. <laughs> Can make um, it a little bit easier. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's a good trick. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is pig candy. And the, all that is is bacon that you pat. Um, you're going to use uh, a rimmed baking sheet with mm -hmm. a cooking rack. And you're gonna put foil on your baking sheet so you don't ruin it. And then you take your bacon and you pat a combination of brown sugar, dry mustard, cayenne pepper on it. Then you bake that at 325 for about 30, 45 minutes. And what you get is this deliciousness right here. And I should tell you that all the serving dishes were loaned to us by our friends at Cook's Warehouse. Hmm. And Cook's Warehouse is where we're having the launch party yeah, for the cookbook. Yeah, what is that? When are you having it? April 30th at Cook's Warehouse. All the information is on my social media on my website and I'm on um, Facebook and on Twitter. Easy and to find. On Instagram, right? <laughs> now this is a, a really nice fruit salad. And this is another convenience thing. I buy the jars of citrus segments, mm -hmm. grapefruit and oranges. Um, Don't have to slice it yourself. No, it's just easy to no. do. Mm -hmm. So it's a citrus salad and it's got have green grapes, um, blackberries, strawberries, some raspberries, and you make a dressing out of the citrus juice, the grapefruit juice, 
and you put a little rum in with that. So that yeah, get a good a look at what she's talking about here. And then this is just topped with toasted sweetened coconut flakes. Mm, oh, that looks delicious. So um, looks really good. I want to get to this really quickly because we're oh, just about out of time. Oh, the Prosecco Sipper. Cake. Yeah, that is Prosecco, some fresh fruit. Today I use sliced nectarines and blackberries, some fresh mint, a little sugar syrup, and some sliced lemons. And you can make a non-alcoholic version of this um, for kids. You could use sparkling water. You could use Sprite or 7-Up, but this um, this is a Prosecco sipper today. Perfect. All right, so in combination right here, I mean, brunch is served. Absolutely. <laughs> Making it easy for you for this Easter that's coming up just a few days away. The release party and book signing, like she mentioned, for Beach House Cookbook is Sunday, April 13th. 30th. 30th. I'm sorry, it does that's say okay. 30th. It would have been. It's April 30th. It's from 4 to 6 at Cook's Warehouse at Ansley Mall. So a good, uh, good opportunity for you to get out there and have a chance to meet Mary Kay. You can also head to fox5atlanta.com and search for the viewer information story. It's a pleasure to meet you. You too. Love these ideas. Thanks. Got us cooking like we have a beach house. You gotta love that, Joanne. We'll send it to you for a weather update. Uh, right, and I'm like you. I don't get too complicated with my cooking. I Easy. feel like I could accomplish that. <laughs> we can do it. Yeah, and it's a good time to address the Easter weekend forecast.